Rooster Teeth News is brought to you by Sherry's Berries. Go to berries.com for an awesome Valentine's Day gift. Get freshly dipped strawberries for just $19.99 when you click on the microphone and enter code RTNEWS. Welcome to the new week. I'm Ashley Jenkins, and Microsoft has been busy this morning with the announcement that they've acquired the rights for the Gears of War franchise from previous owner Epic Games. The acquisition covers the rights to all existing and future games, entertainment experiences, and merchandise, and the games will continue to be developed using Epic's Unreal Engine. This move ensures the franchise will remain exclusive to Xbox and that it will be kept alive since Epic is focusing its efforts on new projects. The reins have been handed to Black Tusk Studios, a Vancouver-based development house that was renamed in late 2012 from Microsoft Vancouver. As part of the agreement, Rod Ferguson has signed on with Microsoft in a leadership role for the franchise. Ferguson worked as senior producer on Gears of War 2 and director of production on the following titles in the series. He left Epic Games in 2012 and joined Irrational Games in the late stages of Bioshock Infinite's development, where he remained until after its launch. Of his new role with Microsoft, Ferguson says, I've been privileged to work on a lot of great games with a lot of great teams, but Gears has had the most impact on me professionally and personally, so this really feels like a homecoming. Ex-Epic creative director Cliff Blazinski, who will not be involved in any way with the future development of the series, has showed his support for the move and Ferguson's involvement, saying, I don't think the franchise could be in better hands. He'll take good care of her. Black Tusk Studios has also been tasked with creating a new franchise to rival the popular Halo series, but no details on that project have been revealed. A new Halo-related rumor has popped up, though, this time surrounding the directorial role for the Halo TV series Microsoft announced at the Xbox One reveal last May. According to the rumor, which has not been confirmed by Microsoft, Neil Blomkamp is tipped to take a seat in the director's chair to develop a series pilot alongside Steven Spielberg, who will produce. Blomkamp was previously on board to direct the Halo movie, a project that fell apart over arguments about financial terms and budgets. He went on to direct the hit District 9 and followed that success with last year's Elysium. But prior to his big hits, he made a name for himself directing a live-action short series, Halo Landfall, to promote Halo 3. In 2009, Blomkamp, still bitter over the Halo movie falling apart, seemed unlikely to return to the project even if it were resurrected. I worked on it for five months. I put a lot of sweat and blood into Halo. But when you work that long on something and you have a bottom out and collapse, I love the world of Halo. I don't think I would go back there, he said. However, last year he clarified that his biggest issue was with control and different interpretations different stakeholders demanded when working on known properties, and he reaffirmed his enthusiasm for the Halo universe. He said, I still really love the world and the universe and the mythology of Halo. If I was given control, I would really like to do that film. Film this is not, but with the series being developed entirely by Microsoft rather than through a studio partnership, the issue of control is greatly improved. Finally, today Square Enix has launched the pilot for its curated crowdfunding platform, Collective. Collective works a bit differently than most crowdfunding platforms in that the game pitches go through a support gathering phase before they actually begin taking donations. Those that successfully gain the backing of the community will be crowdfunded via Indiegogo, supported by Square Enix to ensure that the developers pitching their games can deliver on the vision they're selling. The three game pitches kicking off the support gathering phase of the pilot are Game of Glens by Crackdown developer Ruffian Games, World War Machine from Turk Games, and Moon Hunters from Kit Fox Games. Game of Glens is a frantic resource management, structure building, and projectile weaponry game centering around the Scottish Highland Games, from which the game takes its name. Moon Hunters is a randomly generated open world adventure game for up to four players, featuring a hand painted pixel art world to explore. World War Machine is a procedural post apocalyptic action RPG in which you play Machine uncovering the mysteries behind the extinction of the human race. Fan of Grimm. The games have 28 days to take feedback from gamers and garner support before moving on to the funding phase. And that is the big news for today. What do you think of Gears of War moving from Epic to Black Tusk? Are you excited for new entries in the series or worried that it just won't be the same? Let us know in the comments below. Then check out roosterteeth.com on Wednesday for an exclusive sponsor-only stream of our gaming podcast, The Patch.